Hi, Chloe. Chat. Where do I start Chloe custom deliveries? Apparently you talk to Gimlona. It's called Arms Wide Open. Okay. With arms wide open. Dun, 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 dun. I don't have it. Is there something else that has to unlock it? Big hot Rogan woman, short black hair, headband, light blue coat. Yeah, I don't think I have who this is. Go West Craftsman is a required quest, I believe. Why when I click on her though, it does that one first and then doesn't show me the list. Is it because it's only crafter? Maybe. Mayhap you heard that Rowena's House of Splendors is expanding its operations. Proud to say that these rumors are true. We have established a presence in Idleshire, far to the west of the Dravanian hinterlands. Should you find yourself passing through, it may be prudent to introduce yourself to our representatives. Present this letter to them, and they will know you for one of our suppliers. Okay, well, that's easy enough. Grimlona, there we go. Begging your pardon, sir, but I haven't got the time to chat right now. One of my little sister's suppliers, eh? Well, now that's different. Pleased to make your acquaintance. As you can see, the house has come to Idleshire, but we've only just gotten started. It is our hope that with the help of hard-working folk like yourself, it won't be long before we're the center of the trade in these parts. And we'll do it by becoming the premier source of collectibles. Bring us whatever you've got and we'll pay fair value in scripts. May this be the beginning of a long and prosperous relationship. I did it! You can now trade collectibles with Moreno's House of Splendors in Idleshire. Exchange for- yeah, All right. So this is how I get- With arms wide open. So this is how I start to unlock Chloe. Chloe, Chloe. Wait, which one's that one? I don't remember. Anyway, Grimlona or Gimlona is concerned for the pecuniary, pecuniary fortunes of a friend. Well, if it ain't one of our most reliable collectors, it got anything good for us today? Actually, hold that thought. Just remember that I've got something for you for exchange. A favor to ask. You wouldn't happen to know a girl by the name of Zloe Appi Aliopa, or Aliopo, uh, would you? Sweet little thing. Born into poverty, she worked her tail off for my sister until she paid off every last gill of her family's debts. Recently, she struck out on her own, renting out a corner of a hard of the hard place to run her own shop. The girl's got a nose for coin that's a match for anyone in the realm, but she can also be a bit scatterbrained, which is what's keeping us up at night. We'd like nothing more than to stick by her side until she gets her new operation off the ground. But needless to say, we've got plenty of own on our plates. Plenty on our plates. That's where you come in. Say, what do you say? So what do you say? Think you could pay Zloe a visit and see the girls making ends meet? It'd mean a whole lot to Ro Rowena and me. Alright, let's go see. Hi, Zloe. Oh shit. Why yes, I'm Zoe Eliopo. However, did you know? Am I famous? D that's so exciting. And also somewhat terrifying. But most certainly exciting. Oh, but pray tell, whoever might you be? Mistress Gimlona sent you to look after me? Why, how sweet of her to ask, and you to come, of course. Speaking of sweets, have you tried... Adkira's pineapple pudding? It's so smooth and sensuous. Sensuous? And, but where was I? Oh, of course, I'm doing quite well, thank you for asking. With a loan I took out from Mistress Wawena, I rented out a room here in the cellar of cellars of the hard place. Could you guess what I'm using it for? Actually... Let me just tell you, I'm running an orphanage. I call it Memphina's Arms, because it's like she's holding the orphans and keeping them safe. In her arms, get it? I'm still new to this, but I've already learned so much. For one thing, running an orphanage is really expensive, so I've had to skimp on a few luxuries. Food, clothing, and the like. Why, the last thing I ate was Arkira's 
a pineapple pudding, and I had to make a single bowl last a week. It was a rather large bowl, mind you, but still. I'm sorry, Rowena is starving children? Why isn't she feeding this child? But this isn't about me, it's about the children and everything I could be doing for them if only I had more gill in my coffers. Don't worry though, as Loey has a plan. What sort of plan, you ask? You're looking at it. I've started my trading business right here in the little corner of the hard place. I acquire rare treasures and relics from the realm over, and I sell them to wealthy collectors for princely sums. Princely. Oh, if only I could marry a prince. All my worries would be... Wait, what were you talking about? Prime ADHD here. Hmm? Well, what's in it for my suppliers, you ask? I was just getting to that. Seeing as how I'm on such good terms with Mr. Swoena, you see, I was thinking I could pay them back in scripts they could spend in the House of Splendors. I haven't actually asked her yet, of course, but I'm sure she'll say yes. Did I mention that we were really, really good friends? You know a thing about crafting too? I knew this was Loie's lucky day. Almost as lucky as the day when that nice old man paid ten times what that stone was worth. A whole hundred gil! Just because I reminded him of his granddaughter. Anyhow, what do you say? You can be Loie's number one procurement specialist. You'll do it, won't you? For the children? Oh, you're the best. The absolute best. I knew the moment I saw your face. With you on my side's Loey's House of Almost Splendors, I'm still working on the name. We'll be turning a profit in no time. And Menfina's arms will spread wide to hold every poor orphanage orphan, orphan in a loving embrace. Anyhow, let's make this official cat. Was it? Zloe is oh so looking forward to doing business with you. Did I say that for every collectible you bring me, I'll pay you in scripts redeemable at Rowena's House of Splendors? I did? Good, because that's exactly what I'll be doing. Provided Rowena approves, of course, which she will, I promise. That's how Rowena pays her hardworking employees, after all. No gill, just scripts. Why, I can still remember her counting them out. One script, two script, red scripts, blue scripts, She'll be positively thrilled that Zloe's following in her footsteps. I just know it. I see a sparkle of curiosity in your eye. But Zloe, you ask, without any guilt to your name, however, did you purchase food, drink, and other basic essentials of daily life? You weren't wondering that? Well, Zloe will just tell you anyway. At Rowena's House of Splendors, you can purchase an enormous flagon of... Pineapple juice for the low, low price of only 130 scripts. And who needs food when you have pineapple juice? Or pineapple juice. Not Zloe, that's for sure. Mmm, pineapples. <laughs> well, where were we? Oh, you're probably wondering exactly what sort of treasures I'm looking for. Well, I'd be happy to explain. Zloe has her eyes set on exotic treasures of Near Eastern make and design. A little bird told Zloe that Near Eastern culture is all the rage among the Ashgardian nobility these days. And who is Zloe to disappoint such potentially generous customers? I'm counting on you, my friend. And remember, so are the children. I can't believe. Custom deliveries on logs, Zloe Aliopo. I cannot believe that Ro I can believe that Rowena does not pay her employees. She gives them fucking paper she made up. I just <sighs> Anyway. Rowena's a fucking scam. And a capitalist in the most upsetting way. Okay, anyway. Near Eastern antique. I'll need two of each. That's materials. This is component. We want component. So we want twelve. I've done all of them on cat, but I have not 100% of them. So like, there are five levels and then you finish the story. But um, if you like, if you get, if you deliver to them, I think a total of 150 items, I think it's 150, then you get an extra just like title. It's not really to continue their story. Their story ends much earlier than that. Um, but I want all the titles, so. I'm slowly doing it. Uh, I want it high quality. Okay, yeah, that's sarcasm. I figured. Ding, 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 ding. It's hard to make the collectability high. Damn. It's probably an easier way to go about this, but I don't know it. Okay, well, that works. It's just not great. Ding, 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 ding. 
Welcome, Cat. Here to help me do Minfina's work, I take it. Let's see how many smiles we can put on the children's faces today. Okay. Yeah, dip. Complicated. Oh, my Jesus. Yeah. Oops. Hand over. With the Guardians taking a greater and greater interest in foreign nations of late, trinkets and treasures from the ne Near East are in great demand. This is just what they're looking for. Now let's take a closer look. Oh, cat, it's absolutely stunning. So stunning that all shame. It's a shame I have to sell it. But I will make that sacri ultimate sacrifice for the children. Hey, level 68. All right. And she says the exact same thing. Yeah, I knew it was three. Wow, that does a lot of experience. Oh, I think she said something there, but oh well. First phase done. I'm happy to say that your Near Eastern treasures have found no end of fans among the Ishgardian aristocracy. Why, with only the funds that have poured in thus far, I can safely say that Mephina's arms will stay welcoming wide open for, well, at least the next couple days or so. But is Loewy going to rest on her laurels? Perish the thought. Not when there are countless children still yearning for warmth and love. I can count on you, can I, cat? Oh, thank you. This calls for a celebration. Why, yes, I think I'll treat myself to the last bite of pineapple pudding I've been saving since last week. Ma'am. Uh, to Kebby. If anyone deserves it, it's you, Miss Slowey. You're always working so hard to put food on our plates. Hello, mister. Who are you? This is Cat, the famous adventurer. He is the one who's helping Miss Slowey turn her trade business around. You're an adventurer, Mr. Cat. My mummy and daddy are adventurers too. I wish you could meet them. Mummy and daddy are the strongest adventurers I've ever seen. They're always keeping the people of Idleshire safe from nasty monsters. Or at least they were. The other day, they went off to hunt something called a leap mark. They said they'd be home by sundown, but they haven't been seen since. Miss Lowy says they probably just got lost. Anyway, I was so scared and lonely by all by myself, but then I met Miss Loey. She's been so nice to me. Just like a big sister. Sometimes she forgets to unlock the door or feed us, but I know that it's just because she's busy. I have so many fucking concerns. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> right, Miss Loey? I just met you, Mr. Cat, but I like you too. Anyway, I'm going to go now. My best friend promised she'd tell me a story about dragons, and I just love dragons. See you later, Miss Zoe, Mr. Cat. That's to Kebby. Just between the two of us, search parties have been scouring the land for any sign of her parents, but nothing. I know I shouldn't get the poor girl's hopes up, but I simply haven't the heart to tell her the truth. Besides, Minfina still may, may still work a miracle yet. Oh my god. That's so sad. The day after her parents disappeared, poor Tukhevi rushed out from her home to the city gates. She waited there day and night, in the beating rain and blustery wind, just so she could greet her dear mother and father when, with a smile... The very moment they returned home. When I found her, she was sniffing and shivering in the cold. And that was when my inspiration struck. I would start an orphanage right here in Idleshire and take in the poor children like Takebi who were crying out for a gentle helping hand. And that's why I must... Keep to the task. Mimfina's arms just spread wider and wider. There's no child 
that no child need know such pain and loneliness ever again. Rumble, rumble. Is it supper time yet? All right. She now considers me a friend of the orphanage. Uh, is pleased with my efforts. Considers me a friend. There's so much to do. Can we go steal all of Rowena's money and make sure all these sweet children are being properly looked after? I agree. Thanks to you, we're doing better than we were. At least Loie's paying the rent now. Um, but I'm afraid to say Mavina's arms is still a long way from achieving true financial stability. So as Loie got to thinking, perhaps we've been doing ourselves a disservice by limiting our dealings with the Ishgardian nobility, no matter how wealthy and generous they may be. That's why Zloe decided to look the realm over and look big. I'm thinking about consortiums, cooperatives, and conspiracies? Commiserations? That doesn't sound right. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I found a promising new client, Master Gigi Ruju of Gigi Ruju Shipping. Have you been to his resort in Costa del Sol Cat? That they say the sh sun shines brighter on the... Oh my god. They say the sun shines bright on waters clear every day of every year. Teehee. <laughs> that rhymed, didn't it? Anyway, I had an idea. What sort of rare trinkets and treasures do you think might tickle the fancy of those who live in the world of endless summer? If you're thinking cool and refreshing relics from a bleak, blistery highlands of Corthus, then I guess great minds think alike. Yes. This is the perfect opportunity to build upon the foundation we've laid. What do you say, Cat? Are you with me? All right. They have been updated. Oops. I bought that those six things for no reason. Okay. So we can do the next three, but it won't give us the next part of her story until we do a total of six. So next week. Next Tuesday is when I can pick up. They reset every Tuesday. That's reset day. So, uh, yeah. We want six then. Because I can only make three. <laughs> yeah, how nothing else they should let me donate my dough. I have a bunch of that using Nerd. Like, seriously, though. Relic, quote, unquote. Alright. Alright, we're helping the children chat. At least we're helping the children. Also, then you can dress some of them, not all of them. You can dress her when you hit five hearts. I have her dressed on my cat. I have all anyone who can be dressed dressed on my cat, except for the newest dude. I forgot to do his, but. The Corthus Highlands are home to all sorts of treasures of cool, asture beauty. The wealthy patrons of Casa del Sol are sure to pay a good price for something this exotic and enticing. Now let's take a closer look. Oh, cat, that's absolutely stunning. So stunning that it's a shame I have to sell it. But I will make the ultimate sacrifice for the children. You say the same thing, apparently, every time. Alright. And the last one I can give you this week. Oh, she still has, like, a little cutscene, though. Why, cat, you've been working your tail off this week, haven't you? Speaking of tails, I really wish the orphan boys would stop pulling mine. Don't they realize how much that hurts? Anyway, I think you've earned yourself a much needed rest. Don't go too far, though. It's always counting on you to keep Minfina's arms going strong. All right. So she's done for now. Weekly maximum of six items for Zloe. All right. Uh, six. These need to be high quality. Yeah, no, that was right. Okay, hold my back, let's go.
space, but alone, that'd be great. Or at least, like, it's not a hard one, it's just like, when you try too much of yourself into them, that's the problem, and like, you don't accept others for the differences, that's the problem. And I'm level 69! Nice! I can never touch my crafter again. We already uh, talked to her about this. So it should be the same dialogue as last time. Alright, now it might be different. Alright. Thanks to your hard work, because Loie's is practically swimming in souvenirs from the highlands. Why, I can just see the smile on Master Gigi Ruju's face, and the gill flowing freely from his coffers, hee <laughs> hee. Oh my god. The souvenirs you brought back from Corthus have been selling like, er, uh, something that sells a whole lot. Master Gigi Ruju and his friends at Casta del Sol say that just gazing at them is a refreshing, as refreshing as cold breeze on a hot summer's day. Why, the gill's been pouring in, in day and night, left and right. But that's not all. Now that our finances are under control, I can finally buy the books and writing implements I've had my eyes on for so long. After all, as though we can't very well watch over them forever, can she now? I must help them cultivate their minds, that one day they can strike out and earn their keep on their own. Zoe has never cut out, was never cut out to be more than a humble merchant, but their future is just full of possibilities. I can't let them down. And to think that not long ago I was worried that I wouldn't be able to pay next month's rent. Just look at how far we've come, and it's all thanks to you, Cat. Zoe thanks you from the very bottom of her heart. Today I think I treat myself to a fresh bowl of pineapple pudding. Freshly made three days ago, that is. <laughs> Have to make it last, you know? Anyhow, I know you're doing the hard work, but even I, even I deserve that much, wouldn't you say? You deserve so much more than that. Oh, thank you. The last bowl I had was left over from last month's batch, and it was somewhat lacking in the smoothness one generally associates with pudding. Why, I almost thought I'd cracked a tooth. <gasps> Excuse me! Oh my god, Rowena, feed these children! Not that I actually cracked one, of course. See for yourself, because Louie's smile is as cute as ever. That one tooth that's slightly out of place only adds to the charm. At least, that's what Rowena always told me. Don't you think so, too? <sighs> oh, you are really too sweet. I'll let you in on a secret. From leftover pudding to stale flatbread, no matter how hard a piece of food gets, you can always soften up by soaking it in hot water. <laughs> My wall doesn't know what the fuck to say to that. Of course it doesn't taste as good then. But at least it's easy on the jaw. And we all have to make sacrifices, right? At least that's what I tell the children when I, all I have for their supper is day-old porridge. Oh my god. Can we give these children some food, please? Oh my god. Zloe Apio <laughs> Aliopa or Aliop Aliopo is delighted with your efforts. She now considers you a patron of the orphanage. And yet there's still work to be done before the finances of Mafina's arms are stable. To that end, Zloe Aliop Aliop Oh my god, Aliopo has a new favor to ask of you. I got you, girl. I guess. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, but how far Mafina's arms have come? From teetering on the brink of bankruptcy to clinging oh so desperately to life, we now find ourselves this close to achieving our dream of actual stability. And it's all thanks to you and me and our clients, of course, and the children, too. What were we talking about again? Oh, that's right. Zoe set her sights higher and higher in search of her biggest client yet. You'll never guess who it is. I'll give you a hint. 
What begins with a m mm sound and rhymes with Aelstrom. Give up? I'll tell you, it's the Maelstrom. A kind regular here at the Hard Place told me that the Admiral's planning to hold a massive war game of sorts. Doesn't that sound fun? And kind of scary, but fun. Anyhow, the word is they're looking for all the equipment they can get their hands on. Cannons, cannonballs, or more cannons. Uh, I have a list around here somewhere. Anyhow, I'm sure you can see where this is going. If you could procure for me a healthy stock of top-of-the-line naval material, I can guarantee you we'll be positively swimming in Gil. But hopefully not drowning. Did Slowy mention that she can't swim? But where were we? Oh, of course! I've written up a brand new register of items for you to procure. You'll take a look, won't you? Remember, it's not just Slowy who's counting on you. We must think of the children. <laughs> Slowy, uh... A little ADHD there. I love that she just forgets what she's saying mid-sentence, mood. Uh, custom deliveries list has been updated to view the list. Speak with Zoe or make... Yeah, and select make a delivery. What do you want now, girl? She wants maelstrom material. Right, that makes sense. Ma'am, it's not pudding if it's crunchy! Ew! You're, you're right, but ew! Alright. <laughs> Um, just not having it. Oh, I'm crying about this. Does that make sense? Can we talk about our cat's voice? It's so on point. Thank you. I tried. I'm glad you like it. Uh, I can't find the footage that I know it's out there somewhere. We're trying to find something addressed to you. A bridegroom demanding that he would be an addressing that can't really be true. What the fuck, though? That's just rude. To force someone to be the gender they're not comfortable in. Or, like, any gender aesthetic that they're not comfortable in. on the verge of making the biggest deal of her life. I will succeed. I must for the children. Here, ha have some oops, maelstrom material. Weaponry, alchemical potation potations? Rations? The Admiral needs all the supplies she can get, and this should serve quite nicely. Now let's take a closer look. Oh, cat, it's absolutely stunning. So stunning that's a shame I have to sell it. But I will make the ultimate sacrifice for the children. She says that one every time. Okay. And same thing. All right. Working as hard as ever, I see. Wherever would Zoe be without you? Out on the street eating stale flatbread and month-old pineapple pudding. That's where you still are, bitch. What? What do you mean you would be? You are! Still! Oh, oh my god. Still, don't forget to give yourself a rest of um, time to time. Can I interest you in a bowl of pineapple pudding? I don't think it's rotten yet. I have so many feelings. So many. You have delivered the weekly maximum of six items to Zloe. You may begin making deliveries starting Tuesday at 3 a.m. our time. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. <gasps> Level 70.
70. Oh, we aren't 69 anymore. Oops. Here's small child. Zoe is ever, ever so grateful to you, Cat. Thanks to you, the Maelstrom will have enough material to wage a thousand wars. Let's not. I can just hear the sound of the cannons a-firing and hulls a-cracking. Did I mention that I wanted to be a pirate when I was small? <laughs> okay. Okay. Cat, oh cat, you'll be so... <coughs> You'll be happy to know that Zoe's instincts were right on the mark once more. My contact in Limsa tells me that the material you collected for the Maelstrom was, and I quote, a bloody godsend. Those were the Admiral's own words. Can you believe it? Zoe still can't believe it. Every piece has been sold off and at prices that have our coffers overflowing like never before. Now I can finally provide the children with the life they deserve. One square meal a day to accompany their usual porridge. Blankets and bedding free of mold and moth holes. Shoes with <gasps> actual soles. And finally, finally, Zoe can treat herself to a fresh bowl of pineapple pudding every other day. Not every day? Perish the thought, cat! How could I even think of treating myself to such luxuries when there are children starving in the streets as we speak? Minfina would never forgive me. I have so many feelings. So many. You are one of those children starving in the treats, madam. Ah. <laughs> Slowy Appio. Uh, Alliope. Oh my god. Alliope <laughs> is overjoyed with your efforts. She now considers you a sav savior of the orphanage. And yet there's still much work to be done before the finances of Minfina's arms are stable. How are they not stable yet? To the end. To that end, Slowy. Aliopo has a favor, new favor to ask of you. Ah! Oh shit. To think Zloe would live to see the day when Minfina's arms was finally free of debt. Not that I thought I'd actually die, of course. At least, not for a while. I mean, we're all going to die one day, right? <laughs> oh dear, that conversation took a depressing turn. What I meant to say is, thank you oh so much for all you've done. Thanks to you, Cat, business is thriving and Zloe can finally keep Mavina's arms running on her own. Oh, I forgot this child's voice. Oh, Takevi, what brings you out here? Is something the matter? Oh no, did Zloe forget your breakfast again? Again? <laughs> No, Miss Zoe is, is my friend. I told her my name day was coming and, and she started crying. She said she doesn't know when her name day is. And then I started crying too. When I first came to Manfina's arms, I cried in my bed every night. I tried to smile in front of you, Miss Zoe, but, but, but deep down, I knew that mommy and daddy were never coming back. But Miss Zoe was so nice to me and and Chloe would never oh wait whatever. Chloe would always cheer me up with stories about dragons and before I knew it I wasn't crying anymore. And so so I want to do that for her and Chloe and Miss Zoe did that for me. Oh my god, I wanted Can I read? I want to do for her what Chloe and Miss Zoe did for me. But what can I do, Miss Zoe? If only I could give her my name day, I would, but... 
Yes, if only. Wait, Takevi, you're a genius. Don't you see? We'll just declare your name day the day for all your friends who don't have a name day of their own. We can all celebrate together. And none of you will ever have to feel alone. That's such a great idea. I wish I thought of it. Oh, wait. Did I? <laughs> oh, Miss Loey. Can we really? It would make her so, so happy. Of course we can. But we're going to need presents. And not just any presents. Presents so delightful that these poor boys and girls will be able to forget, if only for a day, all the pain and suffering they've endured in their... I'm sorry, I seem to have something in my... I... And get yourself together, Zoe. Standing around here sniffling isn't going to get anything done. Well now, Cat, I think you know what we have to do. Are you ready to get collecting? My body's ready. <laughs> oh my god. The custom delivery list for Zoe has been updated. To review the list, speak with Zoe and select to make a delivery. What do you want now? Heartfelt gift. I... You give me nine. And then I can't do any more till next Tuesday. And then I think we actually finish her, right? You don't keep doing it after that, but like, it's not any more to the story, you know? Da, 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 da. Get it? Oops, get it up. Alright. You're too young to be thinking about <laughs> that you all die in the end. It's a little depressing. Oh my god, that's so close. bitch is who I was coming in here to talk shit about. I will talk shit to your face, Rowena. You are a horrible piece of capitalist shit, and I hate you. Anyway. Oh, Cat, thanks to you, the children are as happy as Loie's ever seen them. If only you could see their beaming faces. Here you go. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, I'm not. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't the right class. A present for the children? How kind of you! The mere sight of the box is sure to fill their hearts with joy and wonder. Why, I suppose it will have the same effect on me! Let's take a look now. A present for the children? How terribly thoughtful of you! Thanks to you, this will be one of the happiest days of their lives. I'm sure of it. Okay, that's probably gonna be the same for these. Yep. Working as hard as ever, I see. Wherever would Zoe be without you? Out on the street eating stale flatbread and month old pineapple pudding, that's where. Now I just eat day old pineapple pudding. Still, don't forget to give yourself a rest from time to time. Can I interest you in a bowl of pineapple pudding? I don't think it's rotten yet. That's real reassuring, thank you. I appreciate you. Many of the deliveries of the... You have delivered, wow. You have delivered the weekly maximum of six items to Zloe. You may begin de making deliveries again next Tuesday. I, bye. I've done that before. Uh, can I sell, sell. All right. Thanks. So they're like, he does as much protein as you can bear. I'm like, alright. 
because she says the same thing. Seventy-one. Let's go. Let's give Zoe the last one. Let me try and get her voice back. Let's take a look now. A present for the children? Yeah, I think that's how she goes. Okay. Oh, Cat, how can Zoe ever thank you? So many gifts and every last one of them straight from the heart. The children win their joy and happiness beyond their wildest dreams. Mr. Cat, Miss Slowey, thank you so, so, so much for the presents. This is my best name day since the time Mommy and Daddy got me a wind wind-up moogle. My best friend was so happy, too. She said it's the second happiest day of her life. After the day she saw a real-life dragon. Did I tell you how much I love dragons? You certainly did, Takebi. And guess what? Zoe loves dragons too, but I'm glad your name day was a happy one. Just wait and see what I have planned for you next year. I have no voice for your small sister. Hi, Chloe. Hey, Zoe. I just came to say hi, which I guess I just did. Are you working hard? Chloe's working hard too. Oh, cat. What are you? Wait, I know. You're working with Zoe. Zoe told me she had a new partner, but I didn't know it was you. N until now, I mean. He sure is. <laughs> I said that funny. He sure is. Cat here has been a godsend. Ever since he showed up, the gill's been flowing in virtually nonstop. That's wonderful news, Zoe. Oh, oh, Chloe almost forgot. To Kebby, guess what? Chloe has a new story for you. I think it might be my best ever. You want to hear it, don't you? Yay, I sure do. Does it have a dragon's in it? Please say it does. Anyway, we'll be going now. See you around, Mr. Cat. And I know you're really, really busy, Miss Lily. But please try not to forget your supper tonight, okay? So you're one of the adventurers who's been sharing your tales with my little sister. No wonder her stories have been so exciting of late. She's just a child, but no matter how hard things get, that smile never leaves her face. Even though I know she's so lonely, what with her sister always working. Now that we're turning a profit and Menfina's arms are going strong, I can finally spend more time with her. I'm sure she can't wait to tell me her latest stories, and I can't wait to hear them. But that doesn't mean Zoe's closing up shop. Not for a second. May we may be better off than ever before, but there's always more to be done. For the children, of course. You'll still send me a helping hand from time to time, won't you? Oh, thank you ever so much, Cat. Wherever would Zoe be if it weren't for you? Probably out in the street, shivering, with nary a bowl of pineapple pudding to be had. Mmm, pineapples. <laughs> Aww, satisfaction up, Zoe Aliopo. She now considers you part of the family. She cannot be happier with your efforts. She now considers you part of the family. Furthermore, Zoe Aliopo's appearance may now be altered through the use of glamours. You can now apply glamours to her. Through your efforts, the finances of Minfina's arms are now stable. It seems, however, that Zoe has a different sort of favor to ask of you. Ahem. And with that, I would like to announce our latest client. But before I do, I must warn you, she's a quite a demanding one. Our latest client is none other than me. Tee <laughs> Weren't expecting that, were you, Cat? Why, I think I even surprised myself. 
Thanks to all you've done, Memfino's arms have spread wider than I ever dreamed. But there are just a few more things I need to truly make my orphanage all I've ever dreamed. I can count on you, can't I? Oh, so it will be done. It's just that we need to do this extra thing for her, right? Maybe? I don't know. Future requests will be made at random. Okay. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this is the last one. Orphanage donations, rainbow pigment, river shrimp will earn you particularly handsome rewards. I'm sorry. Companion makeovers. Can pass, yeah, you can't, you can decide what Zoe wears. I can show you what she's wearing on my cat girl when I come back, but when, it, you know, at the end when I log out, I can show you quickly what I have her wearing. She has a personal thing she wants me to do. No, it's still heartfelt gift. If you get people to X amount of deliveries, uh, you then get a title exclusive. So I think you're Zoe's best friend if you get all of them for Zoe. Stories done, achievement no. 150, oh, it's just 150. Oh, that's not bad. I mean, it takes forever if you can only do six a week, but yeah. So this is what I have Chloe in chat. This is what I have her in right now. There's Loie. I always call her Chloe. I'll just do this so I can see her up close for you guys. But this is this is what I have her in. And I think she looks really cute. So I kept her in kind of the same colors. I like to keep the same vibes. So I'll show you that as we meet the people that are custom deliveries. I'm not going to go through and show you all my custom deliveries right this second. Just because some of them are spoilers. So, um, but I've dressed up everyone you can except for Pig Boy. Mostly just because I haven't thought of something I want him in yet. But this is what I have her in because I thought the poncho looked really good on her. Or the Alamegan gown looked really good on her. So. Oh. Ah! Anyway. You're in the same shit, babe. I didn't change it. 